Hey guys, it's Drew again. Um, this is a, a video, an update of my scrapbooking room. Oh, my phone just went off. Um, so, let's get started. Um, if you guys remember, all of my stuff used to be on the wall over here, and my bed used to be right over there. But I changed it all up, so this is how it is now. Everything is here, and there's the door right there. So first when you walk in, you're, you'll see that I have my bed there. And then I have my cricket. You can see my reflection. So I have my cricket here. And I have a black cricket expression. And then I have this little drawer unit type system thing. And as well as I have my USB for my shortcut slot software. Um, I have poster tech and my cricket mats here. You come over here. This is kind of a messy area. But I have like the ugly paper that I'm not going to use, like graduation paper and all that different stuff. So I use that on my, for when I film my videos, like on my little mat right here, I use that. Um, and then I have, this is extra cardstock, extra embellishments, and in this little container here is all of my vintage cardstock, like really vintage cardstock. And then right down here is, what is this actually? I don't even know what that is right there. So, I'm not even going to go there. Alright, then we move up and I have this little drawer system that I made, actually. It was metal and it was attached and then I glued them together and then I painted it yellow. On the first drawer I have rhinestones. I don't have a lot of rhinestones because I've been using them on my Terror Bear pages. And then we go up one and I have tons and tons of Prima Pearls in here. Love Prima Pearls. And then some Prima Pebbles. Wait, sorry about that. Um, and then some Prima Pebbles right there. And then right here I have Prima Flowers. And same in this drawer. And then in this drawer I have some Prima Flowers. Some of the really cool ones. And then I have some Felt Flowers. And then in this drawer I have some of my brads. I only have a few brads. So I have like some Leaf Brads. And one Making Memory Epoxy Brad. And then a lot of these Karen Foster Brads. And then up here, I just have some of my 3D houses I made with the Winter Woodland cartridge. Oops, I just, dro I just dropped her on the ground. And then I have some beads that I have. And then I have some charmed plaques for making memories. And this first container here, this pulls out, and there is a corner punch, some extra adhesive. I guess there's some money in there. Um, some of my favorite edging punches from Martha Stewart. And then, like, um, some Fisker punches. So, like, there's a Fisker punch. And then I have grunge board here. And I have a lot more grunge board, but it's out in the other room right now. So, I have grunge board here. And then back there, I have um, a Martha Stewart scallop insert for my rotary cutter. And then here, I have this little clip, which I clipped onto some of this um, Making Memories paper. I have the Marikachi Collection paper pad from... Uh, basic gray, and that's the 6x6, six six. and then I have some crafty chalk, I love this chalk, and then the Making Memories frames, I mean Maya Road frames, and I have six Cricut cartridges right now, I have the Paper Doll Dress Up, the Spongebob, the Serenade Solutions cartridge, and I just realized that that cartridge is like a $150 cartridge on eBay, a little bit less than that, but I saw some of them were selling for about $150, I didn't know it was that expensive. And then the wild card, Plankton School Book, and then Winter Woodland Cartridge, and that's all I have there. And then I have some more Charmed plaques from Making Memories on this side as well. And then this pulls, oops, dropped it. This pulls out, and there are some of my flowers I've made, like some of the um, paper flowers, lace flowers, different flowers like that. Up here is all of my little tiny scraps of random paper, like really small ones. Like if I just need to grab some really fast, I have scraps in there. And then in this container, I have a little clip for so that you can pull this out. And I have a whole ton of like designer papers right here. These are the designer cardstock, and then I have scrap pieces of plain cardstock that I got from Michaels for like a dollar. And then move over. I haven't showed you the middle road. I have. This one is my. Tim Holtz stuff, I have a tiny little bit. I just ordered a whole ton of his stuff, like 20 more ink pads and some alcohol inks and different things like that. So I got alcohol ink, the little applier, the solution, and three of his inks. 
and then I have a mini album that I finished of my dog, and then I dropped something else on the ground, um, to make K and company stamp sets that I need to put away. All of my unmounted stamps are right there. Um, this really cool Martha Stewart lace doily punch, which I love. It's my favorite punch ever. And then up there, I have, like, a little mannequin head type thing, a lot of jewelry that I've made, some buckets, which I actually need to bring down here because I need to put things in them, uh, my rotary cutter, uh, a couple of these really cool smelly pencils, a really big candy cane, a little box that has, like, my Q-tips in it for the chalk, and then 8 by, well, 8 and a half by 11 papers. This is all 12 by 12 in the back section right here. This is all 12 by 12 uh, plain paper. And this is all patterned paper, and it's all um, done. And then I have, like, some of my doily pages that I've cut on my Cricut. Down in here, I have my Provocraft trimmer, acetate, ribbon on the roll still, my adhesive, my really big cutter. I like this. It's not my favorite cutter, though. Um, inside of this jar, I made this at our local store. I have ribbon, scrap ribbons and ribbon that I put on, like, some pins. I have a thank you stamp. That's for my eBay store. I stamped that on their stuff. Um, some of my homemade flowers. Um, some homemade charms. I mean, not homemade charms. Um, just some Iro charms. And then stapler. A little thing that I put my water in. My zig. My spray bottle. It doesn't have this perfume stuff in it. It was my mom's but it doesn't have the perfume stuff in it. And then I have that really cool chatterbox. It, this, bu this book was $40. I got it on sale for like $5. And then a, a whole ton of fibers are in there. Get over here, and I have all my stickles. I have a ton of stickles. The only one I'm missing is the patina stickle color, patina, and the rock candy. And then I have my three embossing powders, some of this really cool fluffy embossing powder. Pre-made cards are here and here. Down in here, I have punches on top, glues on the side, and a huge acrylic block. Up here, I have adhesives. Here, I have ink pads. And then down here, I have my Versamark and some needles and um, another clear block. And there's like five clear blocks in there, actually. And then my phone. I got this. This is in my new phone. It's the Droid by Motorola, and I absolutely love it. It's so cool. It is pretty pricey, though, so that's the only disadvantage about it. You have to pay $30 a month just to have it. Um, it has internet everywhere. That's why. That's how I upload some of my videos. Um, here is Primas I need to alter. Here are some of the altered Primas I've already done. I'm going to make a video on how to distress your Primas. Um, my tape gun, or my tape dispenser, my paper piercing pad, some scallops that I'm using for my family tree project, tape, and I keep a bucket of water here, and I soak my flowers in it. Back there, I have all my tools, like markers. Are I don't know if you can see them, but they're, like, right there. Hammer, um, wire cutting tools, scissors, pens, zig, all of my decorative scissors and hole punches. Up here, I have mini albums I'm working on. So I have a few minis I'm working on, actually. So I, I'm almost done with that one. I'm, I just started on this one. And then I have buttons and lace up there. I have some, um, what's this stuff called, wire. Up here I have, like, this really cool light, a uh, cool bowl that has, like, stuff that I'm working on for minis. Um, some cards I've received from viewers. I have to hold my tripod up with towels, so I put those up there. A little, the videos that I've made show you how to do that box. Come over here, I have my computer. Turn that on so you can't see my reflection. You probably still can't, but... Yeah, I have a HP Touch Smart, and it's the 25-inch one. It's all touchscreen, so, like, let's say I wanted to watch this video right here. I click on it, and it is going to load it up. It loaded it up, and I don't want to watch it, so I'm just going to keep it right there. Um, then we go around, and I have my thing that has all of my tools in it. Uh, charging station, case, my really awesome computerized sewing machine. Um, and as well as here are all my 12 by 12 stacks. I really like that. And then all of my cardstock in this thing I got from the thrift store. So watch part two to see the rest of my scrapbook room. There's not a whole lot left, so yeah, check it out.